Here's part three of our conversation with the great Mark Jordan. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. Nice segue. Let's go to when you first recorded your first album. Uh, it's a cliche question, but it's coming at you. What would you tell that guy now, knowing what you know? Uh, I mean, I guess you're asking me what mistakes I made. <laughs> Not entirely, <laughs> but it could be. I think I got a little bit. I mean, how, how can I put this? I I wanted to be more. Uh, I wanted to have, make records more like um, James Taylor. And I ended up making records more like Boz Skaggs. That's my feeling. I sort of got pushed a little bit out of the sort of folky thing, which is sort of what I was. But I but uh, but I love jazz as well. So I ended up in the middle, and and it was kind of Boz Skaggs and all those great session guys. And Jesus, it was it, it was it was wonderful. But um, I guess you always, I, I guess the, 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 the thing that young people have to know, and it's very difficult, and I still struggle with it sometimes, is you can never chase radio, and you can never get outside your sweet spot and be successful. Because what you do best and where your heart goes naturally and where your brain goes when it's at play is who you are. And if you're not who you are, and if you don't know who you are, and it's hard to find it because everybody's telling you you're this person, you're that person, and you're going, well, maybe I could be that guy. The fact is you're who you are. And if you don't accept that, you'll never, never write great songs, I don't, in my opinion. Well said. Wow. It was a bit of a ramble. No, no, that was good. Uh, being a big drummer fan and a drummer, worst drummer you'll ever meet, by the way. Uh, <laughs> any thoughts of uh, Jeff Beccaro? Anything you can share with us? Jeff was always the light in the room. And he it's so odd that he should die young because he was the one who was so alive. And he always, he was so kind to me, you know, I was like a guy, I was like a shitty guitar player. I wrote good songs. They flew me out there. I'm sitting with all these guys who are like unbelievable players. And I, you know, and I remember I played, you know, I'd never play, I'd never played in the studio before. And I was playing and, and, and I remember uh, Jeff going, get Jordan out of my headphones. Because, because my time was so bad, right? And uh, I, I didn't know how to play with these guys, and they were so great, and they were so generous and so wonderful to me. And uh, I, I, I'll tell you, I love Jeff, and I remixed something years ago uh, from the Mannequin record, and I heard Jeff speak between takes on the two-inch. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but I heard Jeff talking in the studio, and it, that was about 10 years ago. It was just wonderful to hear his voice because he had been dead for a while, right? And uh, it just took me back. And uh, he, he was a lovely I, – I just can't say enough about him. He was just a lovely guy. Uh, in 92, I was in L.A. when it happened, and I'd only been to L.A. like maybe five times. And I remember – I was at some tourist place and I cried uh, mm -hmm. and I couldn't believe it. I thought, how can he be? Dead? It's it's like a John Lennon moment to me where I'm going, he can't be dead. It, it can't happen. Like, how? Yeah. So. Well, it was a freaky thing. I mean, it was just that uh, it was uh, just some allergic reaction he had to him. When you start a project, is it just starting to write songs? Do you ever have a vision? Do you, do, is it sometimes someone you listen to? Are you going, oh, it's been two years, I should start doing something? How, how does a project start for you? When I start a project, uh, well, for instance, we're, I'm, the next record, we're, we're, are, they're all going to be prayers. And I usually don't do concept records, but they're going to be like songs of gratitude, and songs, uh, memory, but prayers. I, I just some kind of not spiritual so much, but just, I guess, just to say thank you. 
You know what I mean? I, I think there, I, I could call it songs of gratitude, I think. But I, I just, I, I thought of prayers. I, I love the, the quietness of a, of a hymn. So I think that's, it, I mean, it's just sort of rolling around in my mind now. And it, I've, we've only sort of attempted one song, but but that's that's what I'm feeling. That, that it's a it may you know it might be my last record. I don't know. Is it? You think it's a byproduct of being 66 of being able to? I think a lot of it is. I think a lot of it is. I, I as I said, I love to write about looking back because looking back is like looking ahead in a lot of ways. <laughs> You know, it, you know, everything changes and nothing changes in a lot of ways. So it's about where I, yeah, it's about where I am in my life, and I'm at a place where I'm admit, I'm I'm incredibly thankful for the life that I ha have and am having and had as well. We'll have more of our conversation with Mark Jordan coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Canada.